so tell me what you want, what you really, really want. You know what I want? I need some of that Big Mo. Where are you at, Big Mo? Altria Group, Puff, Puff, Pass, Smoky Puff, Puff, Pass. Altria Group, as long as they're out there smoking those Marlboros, they're going to be paying us that divvy, right? And if you tuned in, if you tuned in, I don't know, when was that? About two weeks ago, I had... Um, I had most of my shares. I know I still have like 200 shares. I had, I don't know, two, three, 400 shares of Altria Group called away at 4750. Okay, so that was a profit for me. I was sad. The reason I was sad is I didn't really want Big Mo to go away. And the reason behind that is we love Big Mo and Big Mo's dividend. Let's take a look at the dividend on Altria Group. It's close to 9%, isn't it? Yeah, well, no, it's just over 8 That's all. So 8.15% on the all, uh, Altria Group, Big Mo, ticker symbol MO. They have been paying dividends and growing them for 53. <laughs> Can't even say it with a straight face. <laughs> That's older than you and you're old as dirt, Bart. So... They have been paying dividends and growing them for 53 consecutive years. Can you say dividend king? I can. I can say that to you, bought Dividend king. So they just announced another uh, dividend. So they're going X div and like, I don't know, three, what is it? 321, 324. Let's go back here. March, what? March 23rd. So March 23rd. They are going X dividend date, which of course, as we know, means you need to be an owner of Mo, of Big Mo, the business day prior to X dividend date in order to qualify for this sweet payout. That's $3.76 a share per year. Okay, so they just announced right here, you can see it. Big Mo announced the cash dividend of 94 cents with an X dividend date of March 23rd. Hey, you said it was $3.76. Well, it's 94 cents per quarter. And guess what? At some point this year, they will raise it. They'll raise it again. So if we look to the dividend history, you could see, you know, you go back to just 2020. 84 cents a share went to 86, 86 went to 90, 90 went to 94. So their their history here, their trend, their pattern, if you will, their pattern is to raise it in the third quarter for that third quarter payment. So we should get the, the uh, we'll get our 94, we'll get another 94, and then they should raise it. So my thought was, why don't we do like Ice Cube did and try to mess around and get a triple double with the Altria? We sold it. It was called from us at forty-seven fifty. We made a profit from our our last round of holdings, which we were in probably at around just over forty-five dollars for that. And even though it's up today, I'm thinking we'll just buy some right here and right now, and then immediately turn around and sell a call out past the next dividend, okay? So we'll we'll collect this dividend and then we'll collect the second dividend of the year for Altria Group. And then let's run the numbers and see what that looks like. So what can we get Big Mo for right here? We'll do it live. What can we get Big Mo for? Currently going at 46.34 a share. Let's go for 500, 500 shares. That'll cost us $23,180 right now. We'd like to, what? Let's buy it. Hey, it just went to forty six thirty nine. dollars I want my money back. It's too much. So there is $46.39, okay? That's what we just paid for 500 shares, right? They want me to enable dividend reinvestment. I don't want to do that. I don't do the drip, and I'll tell you why in a different video. But let's see here. So that brings our average cost to 46.34, right? And then if we trade Mo, let's trade Big Mo. Let's sell a call. And then I've done the math. Boop, boop, boop. That if we go out to the middle of June, if we go out 106 days, 
So that is what, three and a half months? If we go out three and a half months, we can collect a buck 20 on the 4750. So we can still catch the spread between what we just paid at $46.39 all the way up to 4750. And what else? And we can collect a buck 20, maybe more on these five contracts that we can now sell. Let's go for just a dollar more because, you know, that extra dollar, that'll buy lady sweetheart a Starbucks, right? Let's see if we can't do a buck 21 a share on the covered call. And they were filled, so we just collected $605 bills, y'all. $605 on that. So let's go over to this janky spreadsheet. <laughs> I'll tell you, I said it once and I'll say it again. I just, I love spreadsheets. I just, I've never really learned how to use them. So we just paid $46.39 a share, right? So if we do some math, let's carry the one. Where is our abacus at? We can do our abacus, 47, 47.50 minus 46.39. We're doing math right before your very eyes. So we're going to be at a dollar, what was it, a dollar 11? A dollar 11 a share profit, okay? I'm going to write these notes for my own behalf. Let's go back up here. 111 times 500, right? Times 500. So if we got a buck 11, go back to the abacus, a buck 11, and we multiply that by 500. Okay, we'll make $555 bills on a profit there. No, $555 bills. And then if we collect two rounds of dividends at 94 cents a share times 500 times two different quarters, then we will end up with $940 in dividends. And then also we didn't collect 600 like I anticipated. We collected 605. So if we collect that, let's see, what does our math tell us here? This is the jankiest math I've ever seen. <laughs> so a $2,100 profit, right? So we would make $2,100 between the sell of 47.50. So if those 500 shares are called away at the strike price that we just set at 47.50, we just bought 500 for 46.39, right? And then we're gonna uh, collect a buck 11 per share profit for a total of $555. Why does that math doesn't seem right, does it? <laughs> Get that abacus back out. That's why I like to do it live because it's fun. It's fun to do it live. Times 500 equals, where is my, is there no decibel point on this thing? <laughs> 500 times $1.11. Bart, you're just, you're. that's why you flunked out of college. It's true. That's why I use this abacus right there. Girl, you know it's true. So $555 plus our dividend of $940 plus the premium we just put in our pocket. I mean, it's already in our pocket, right? And that equals $2,100. Now we need to divide that $2,100 by the investment. So let's get the abacus back out. Crank it over here, Terry. Okay, here it comes. So we had 500 shares and we paid $46.39 a share for a total of $23,195. $23,195, right? So why is the abacus? It keeps disappearing on me. $2,100 divided by $23,195 equals. So that's 9%. But here's the thing. Here's the fun part, right? So this 9% was only for what, 105 days or what was that? 106 days, all right? So if we do the math, boop, 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 that is less than four months. So that means we could do this trade three times a year. Conservatively, of course, given the numbers that we just used, it would have to be these types of premiums with this type of volatility, these types of probabilities, all things being equal, we could then do this trade three times a year 
and we've got 9% on this money times 3%. I mean, times three trades a year. You'd really need to rehearse these before you do them. I don't want to rehearse them. <laughs> I just want to do them. We'll do it live. So that would be annualized 27%. That sounds far-fetched, Bart. We just did the math together. We just did it. So these numbers between now and that June 15th call date, June 16th call date, I think I'll be in Yellowstone hiking. I think I'll be in Yellowstone hiking then. So we'll just have our phone. Probably won't have any signal, but we'll still collect all the dollar bills because we just collected those. I would imagine that Mo will be called away at 4750 at that point. If it's not, oh, well, we'll just sell more calls and collect more divvies on the sweet Mo. But according to these numbers, beep, boop, boop, $2,100 profit in under four months divided by this investment of $23,195. That's 9% return on our capital. And then we can do it all over again. We could spin the what? The wheel of fortune and be around 27% annualized. Okay, so there we have it. Thanks for tuning in on the Altria. Hey, look, they're already ticking up. We made, let's see, we made zero dollars. <laughs> That's what we bought it for, forty-six thirty-nine. So there you have it. That was fun. I apologize for the math. I really do. So I'll figure some of these things out and get more efficient uh, at them as we go. But the market went from um, flat to a little low in the S&P to now up over half a point. And that reminds me, because you and I together, we are looking at you and I, we're trying to put a spy put trade through. And I said, if that thing candles up just a little bit, then that put will be in action. And it right after I clicked, um, right after I clicked off, this thing went like we were right around here when I was recording that spy put trade. And then it just went bango, bingo, bongo, candled up two huge candles, jumped way above what the the average was, what that what we were looking at on that number of the range. It was trading about a dollar range for hours. And then it just went, nope, I don't like it down there. I'm going up here. I'm moving on up to a deluxe apartment in the sky. So that's what it did. But that worked in our favor, right? Because we we, we uh, sold those put credit spreads and they're already in the 100% profit because they expire in 35 minutes. It's 2.25 p.m. Thursday here in the farm fields of Alparaiso, Indiana. And our we have the five call credit spreads expiring and those look so far so good. Uh, Blackstone is down today, but we still probably look good even at this 86 yeah, it said 88.95. I was going to, you know, I think I might still I might let the news I might might let the news play out a little bit more cuz there's two little news articles that are strikes against Blackstone right now which could it could creep down a little bit more, okay? So it was even lower. It was in like 86.99 earlier today. The Blackstone see down here. Whoop. Ooh, 86.92. And then it has found some legs and went back up to over 89. And now it's at 88.98. But there is a couple of news articles that might affect Blackstone even going into tomorrow, Friday. So we might just let it ride. No, why not? <laughs> it's tempting you, isn't it, Bart? It is. It's tempting me. Because Blackstone's been in the green so much lately, and I've been missing it. I ain't missing you at all. I do. I miss you, Blackstone. But we've had a couple of things here. They defaulted on their uh, mortgage out there in the Nordic re region. I don't know exactly where that's at, Norway or something. <laughs> do not hate me for these comments. And then also there was a, uh, here it is, yeah. So update, Blackstone blocked investor withdrawals from $71 billion re in February. What doesn't really show up in that headline is that that's part of those contracts that they have with investors where there's only X amount of drawdown that is allowed. And it's understandable because most all of Blackstone's money is invested. That's the whole point of using them as your real estate investor of choice 
in those REITs. And then in return, they return so much dough, so much dollar bills back to us. But look at their quarterly, you know, here's fourth quarter earnings on 1.85 billion revenue. They earned $557 million in profit. Hello. Look at the, you know, look, we had all these beats in a row. Here's estimate. Here's actual estimate, actual estimate, actual, right? So we get all of these beats and then Blackstone got a couple of bad headlines here, which could help creep it down. We might go ahead. There's 30 minutes left in the day. We might consider selling a couple puts for next week because we still have ours for this week to expire. We'll let those expire at 100% profit at this point. But again, tomorrow, what the risk is, is it could go down even more, which will threaten this $86 put, but that's fine. Even if I just let it ride and, and let the stock be put to me at $86, I'll take it there, but I am taking up a lot of your time. <laughs> so I will move on. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, comment, you know, like it, save it with a lovable friend, and I'll see you in the next video.